AITA for not going to my sister's wedding? My sister, early 20s, is marrying her boyfriend of 10 years. Family and friends are invited to a skiing location for two days to celebrate. From where I, late 20s, live, it takes three hours to get there, and it's pretty much impossible without a car. I don't have a driver's license. My sister and me don't have a close relationship. She's kind of a brat. She's into material beauty, luxury items, clothes, design kitchenware. Two years in a row she has complained that she has not gotten anything from me for Christmas. Knowing I don't have the money to buy her a gift worth $100 to $350 or more, I'm on welfare and in therapy. Last year, I tried talking to her about issues in the family. During that conversation, she attacked the way I behaved towards our mother, said the way I saw reality can't be trusted. This is something both my mom and sister has said multiple times during my childhood, told me she didn't believe anything I said about our childhood, told me I was selfish for letting my mental illnesses lead to hurt and disappointment in others. This year, she's finishing her studies to become a nurse. A few days later, I got a long text. She wrote that the way I act and live affects her and our parents and that having problems doesn't allow you to destroy others around you. She also compared me to my uncle, a serious alcoholic who led a tragic fate. I'll be honest here, I have a little weed addiction, and I've leaned on my parents for money. I also live in an apartment they bought and spent a year convincing me that they would like me to move into. I am now diagnosed with severe recurring depression related to family. They know, but pretends it doesn't exist. They all say they cannot understand how it became like this, but they don't believe in my explanations. Truth is my mother has used me as a shrink for as long as I can remember, and made me not trust my own thoughts. I was six years old when she said that, if things didn't get better soon, I'm gonna leave, on the verge of tears. I've spent my childhood in a constant fear of my family falling apart. She later said, I think it would be better for everyone if I wasn't here. When I was at university, she used to call me crying after fights with my sister, saying how no one understood her but me, talking about how bad it was between my father and her, how she didn't know if she could take it anymore. She has leaned on me my whole life, while emotionally tearing me, and everyone else around her, down. I can't remember a single time when she has supported me emotionally or given me the strength to believe in myself, so I don't feel like I should put myself in a torturous situation for them. I dread being surrounded by people who don't acknowledge who I am or what I have been through, with friends who either don't know what's been going on, doesn't accept it or, probably, thinks I am the asshole and my mother is a saint for dealing with me, the black sheep and troublesome child.